Catalysis and Process Integration Group are interested in the synthesis of metal nanoparticles and nanostructured materials with specific interest in their applications in catalysis. Metal nanoparticles exhibit novel and exciting properties um, due to their small size, which is only 10 times bigger than the size of an atom. These exciting properties come from their um, quantum size effect and the high surface area to volume ratio, as well as the high surface energy. These properties are strongly dependent on their size, which means for a catalytic reaction, they are very size sensitive. So we need to create a specific nanoparticle size to catalyze a specific reaction, which varies from reaction to reaction and metal to metal. Unfortunately, conventional wet synthesis methods to make these particles tend to produce a wide range of sizes, such as shown here. So whilst you might produce some nice small nanoparticles which will have a high catalytic activity, you may also produce large particles such as shown in the middle here, which um, will be less active. Ideally, what we want to be able to do is to produce a narrow size distribution of particles such as shown here, which maintain their size throughout use. One method to do this is the use of capping ligands, which are little molecules that sit on the outside of your particle in, in order to stabilize them. So you maintain the size throughout the use as well. Um, however, uh, these may block the site, the active sites to, to your reagents and result in a decrease in activity. And this is something that we are trying to uh, alleviate from nanoparticle synthesis. We tackle down nanoparticle size problems using chemical engineering principles. By synthesizing metal nanoparticles using continuous microreactors, we are able to take advantage of laminar flow regimes, which actually lead us to nanoparticles without a capping agent and agglomeration. As you can see, here we have three types of uh, microfluidic devices. These devices are designed using computational fluid dynamics, which means that these are the optimal 3D morphologies in order to get narrow size distribution of nanoparticles. The nanoparticles can be, for example, silver nanoparticles and gold nanoparticles using this kind of installation that is a continuous microfluidic installation. By this approach, we are making a range of materials. Now we can tune the size of silver, gold, platinum particles by separating nucleation and growth stages in reactors connected in series. We are also making different morphologies of nanostructured materials. So the, uh, the different kind of morphologies on which our group is working are, are cube, then nano rods and nanoparticles. We are using a range of different chemical reagents like deep eutectic solvents to control the exposure of the facets and to make sure uh, that the energetically active facets are being exposed to the reaction. In this way, we are developing our unique manufacturing technology for the design of catalyst. We are particularly interested in the energy storage in chemical bonds. For example, we are developing our own catalyst for the splitting of ammonia gas into hydrogen energy. Here's a setup for decomposing ammonia into hydrogen setup. <laughs>